Bummy Fair Gay, me, Brooke, what's up? If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and ding the little notification bell right next to it. And don't forget to ding the like button too if you like this video. So in today's video, I'm going to do a book review on the most amazing book I have ever read in my entire life. Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. So this book is based around... Was it zombie invasion? No. Alien invasion. And the one thing I love about Rick Yancey is that he, like, makes the alien aliens look like us. So it's kind of, like, intense. And, like, oh, are you an alien? I don't know. Are you an alien? Can I trust you? Probably not. Bang. You're dead. Basically. So the main character, the main protagonist, Cassie, and her f father and her baby brother, I think who was five, named Sammy, are trying to survive, obviously, and trying not to get killed by the silencer, silencers, that's what they call them, the silencers, <laughs> and the, um, there are four waves. The fifth wave, I'm not going to spoil. If you've read the book, you know what the fifth wave is. But the first one is Lights Out, which is a blackout. The second one is Surf's Up, which is a natural disaster, which is like a hurricane, a tsunami, that kind of thing. Number three is The Plague, which kills most of the human race. And then the fourth one is the silencer which the aliens come down and bang bang everybody basically <laughs> so cassie and her father and her baby brother sammy are like i said in this camp um and just trying to like figure out a plan like are we going to survive are we going to get saved are we gonna die basically and so there's this little like droid thing they call the eye the green eye i think it's called i haven't read this in a while i finished it like two days ago or like a couple days ago so my like memory is a little bit off stay with me anyway so the eye comes down and I like everybody's like, oh my gosh, woo, I'm, we're gonna get saved. But in reality, they're not gonna get saved. They, they, they as in silencers and the drone, just kept kept an eye on everybody to like count how many are there, and and then it just goes away, and everyone is sad. And then this happens like a few times. But then they actually get saved, but not really, you know. And then, like a little later on, the military have buses filled with kids from like refugee camps and just scattered everywhere, basically, to Camp Heaven, Haven, Heaven. Honestly, I don't can't pronounce. I don't know what it is. I think it's heaven. So, Sammy, the the baby, not the baby, this, the brother, gives Cassie his bear because the bear helps Sammy sleep, and and Sammy wants Cassie to sleep well too and remember him by. Then Cassie promises promises him that. She will come back to him and give him his bear back. Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> and then Sammy goes into the bus with a bunch of kids and the dad. And then Cassie walks back with his with her dad, but the leader person, the sergeant, is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't remember is bickering with the dad and the leader the sergeant whatever she was the dad so kathy's all alone in the woods with the bear 
that Sammy gave him, gave her, my bad. And then, um, Cassie, a little later, gets shot in the leg. Sorry, I'm getting tons of notifications on my phone. <laughs> so Cassie gets shot in the leg by a silencer, a sniper silencer. That's a mouthful and a half. Whoa. Um, but Evan, the silencer, was human. But Cassie doesn't know who he's human. But like, then she like, like pieces it together like, Oh my god, he's an alien. Why is he... Like, why is he... Like, why can't I, like, think right now? What the frick? Anyway. He, like, nurses her back to health, helps her shoot, gets her, like, livelihood back. And then Evan tells Cassie his backstory, and Cassie tells him about... Ben, which is another love interest in the book, and then Evan tells her about Lauren, who was his fiance or girlfriend, something like that, and then Cassie's like, what are you? Who are you? Are you even human? And then like, it's like, ah, oh, I'm human. What the frick are you talking about, lady? <laughs> He doesn't say that, but in my head he said kind of said that. Anyway, so, yeah. I love this book. I love everything about it. I love the fact that Rick Nancy has different perspectives of the characters. So, like, a few chapters. A few chapters and it's Cassie then Evan and then everybody else like Ben's perspective Sammy's perspective and all like others there's someone near my house and I don't know who it is Grandma's sister spooked to be perfectly honest anyway so yeah I love this book with my whole entire heart. I love the movie with my whole entire heart. I love Rick Yancey with my entire soul and heart. I'm reading the second one right now, which is The Infinite Wave, and I love it. I haven't, like, made a dent into it yet. I have, like, ten pages in, I think. And I still need to get the last store very badly. I'm gonna get all his other books, too, because... His writing style is so funny and brilliant and just, I want to meet him and hug him and tell him thank you for existing and putting a great piece of literature in my hand and shit like that. It's just fucking beautiful. Sorry I swore, but anyway, that's me ranting about Ricky Yancey's fifth wave. So if you like this book. Barnes and Nobles, Barnes and Nobles, or Target, I'm pretty sure it's not at Target anymore because I checked like a few days ago and it wasn't there, so if you have a Target, maybe search for this too, so yeah, anyway, that's it for me, if you like this video, don't forget to like it down below, don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell button. This is it. Goodbye from your favorite bye.